I'll tell you an interesting fact about uh, this little object I'm holding over here. Uh, maybe somebody will know what this is. Uh, have a look at the, the structure on the outside over here. Got a very typical wood-like or bark-like structure to it. If you turn it this way and you have a look at it on the ends, you can actually see that it's, it's hard like marble, stone. It actually looks like wood, but it feels like stone. And this is actually a petrified uh, piece of wood, petrified branch. Now, the word petrified is used to describe uh, organic material that has actually become rock. Some people will say fossilized. Petrified is the correct term. So essentially, petrification is, is a long process. It takes quite a long time. It'll take at least... You know, 10,000 years or more, usually 50,000 years or upwards. And what essentially happens is, is that uh, an organic piece of material like this piece of wood, it's usually trees or branches that have become washed away. They then get covered um, in silt and, and, and usually water, uh, well it needs water, and usually slightly acidic water. Now that water essentially needs to to cover the object and, and everything needs to be put under quite a lot of pressure then. And essentially what happens is, that the acid uh, water essentially permeates um, the organic material. So it goes into it and it actually starts to dissolve the cell contents, but not only the cell contents, but also the cell walls, the cellulose, the lignin, everything that's there gets dissolved away. And every little microscopic part of that cell is replaced by the minerals in the uh, that are dissolved in the water. So this is a process called um, mineralization. Um, and essentially what happens is, is that even at a microscopic level, every cell of the, of the structure gets replaced with minerals. So the organic materials get replaced um, with a saturated structure. So it doesn't change its, its cellular structure or its microscopic structure at all. And then what happens is over a long period of time, uh, the water tends to evaporate, the, the mineralized structure becomes desiccated and all that you're left with is the actual mineral structure itself, which is, of course, going to be quite hard. And uh, that's that's the actual uh, process called lithification, where the um, turning to stone occurs. So it's sort of a two-stage process, if you like, petrification. We've got um, the permineralization, which occurs initially, and then we've got the uh, lithification, which occurs thereafter. So essentially, once uh, the, these objects then get exposed, because they were obviously covered, once they get exposed through weathering and erosion and what have you, you can actually see them on the surface and it literally, as you can see, looks just like a piece of wood, but it's uh, incredibly hard like rock. This particular one, you can't see it. It was a small branch, but some of the bigger trunks that you can actually get hold of uh, or see would actually have the, you can actually see the actual bark structure on the outside. You can see the tree rings um, indicating, you know, the age. So um, quite interesting. You obviously don't want to pick these things up and take them out of the, out of the wild, this particular one was one that was purchased at a fossil store. Um, but again, uh, there are certain places all over the world and quite a few in Africa where you can actually go and see these so-called petrified forests with logs that are lying exposed on the surface, some some tree trunks, some of them many, many meters or feet long. And uh, they uh, are, are trunks that were actually washed, washed from forests maybe uh, at a different location and then ultimately sediment and water covered them so they're actually now petrified a long distance from the point of origin.